In this video, we are going to help this noob level 1 with the Venom Fruit reach 2nd C. But before that, you can show your support by using star code GamerNom when purchasing your Robux. When the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, that's your slam! That's the dump! Hello, GamerNom is back. So for today's video, again, we're gonna help this noob level 1 reach 2nd C with the use of Venom Fruit. So are you ready guys? Let's go! We're gonna start by defeating bandits. You need to defeat 5 to finish 1 quest. So we're gonna lure 5. There we go. And we're gonna use our first skill. The poison dagger. There we go. Okay guys, the important thing here is to realize that aside from the initial damage of your skill, every time the enemy steps on the poison, they will be damaged. Okay, so you're gonna do this, lure, use the poison, until you reach level 10. Guys, for me, this fruit is very good for grinding. Especially for newbies, if you are lucky enough to get this. For the stats, 24 blocks fruit, 3 melee and defense. So when you reach level 10, let's proceed to our next island, the jungle. So in the jungle, you're gonna start by defeating monkeys. So you're gonna defeat 3 monkeys at a time. So lure 1 here, next 1 here, and here. You can use your poison dagger to defeat them easily, guys. Easily. There you go. We just want to set your levels 14. Our goal is to reach level 15. And after that, proceed to the gorillas. Again, guys, during one, two, three, four gorillas, two sets, and we're gonna level up. We're gonna finish a quest. There you go. Again, the goal here is to reach level 20. And after that, you can start defeating the gorilla king. Can I do it 1v1 game more now? Yes! Can you show me? Yes! Just jump in a high area, there you go, and use your skill, and that's it. See that? It's still being damaged, wait for your skill to cool down, and again, use your poison dagger, and everything will be easy, okay? So the goal here is to reach level 30. It depends on you on what mob you want to defeat. Again, stat check, 52 blocks fruits, 19 on both melee and defense. So for the next island, the Pirate Island, we're gonna defeat 8 Pirates. There you go, 1, 2, 3, 4. I suggest you look for a wall and use your Poison Dagger. Very easy, right? You're gonna do this until you reach level 40. And after that, go for the Brutes. Guys, this is your decision if you wanna stay with the Pirates or go for the Brutes. The Brutes, they're far apart and harder to defeat. And they have a higher damage, so it really depends to you. More experience for this. Less for pirates but easier, okay? So the goal here is to reach level 55 and with that you can start defeating Bobby or Baggy the pirate. So how do you defeat him? Lure him inside this place and use your Z skill. Why? Because again, once he steps on your poison he will be damaged and you can easily dodge his skills by going around. There you go. See that guys? Easy. You're gonna level up in this area until you reach level 60. Again. Depends on you. Brutes, pirates. Go stat check. 120 blocks fruits, 30 melee defense. So next up, desert. So at desert, you're gonna start by defeating desert bandits. Very easy, guys. Lure four again. Two times, two sets to finish one quest. There you go. Very easy. There you go. Guys, by leveling up here, there's a high chance that you will be unlocking the serpent's wrath if you're using the venom fruit. So how do you use this? This is used for traveling and guys, I'm not interested with the way it travels because it's kind of slow but the damage. You can hit your enemy with this, the cooldown is fast and the damage is really good. Okay, so now we have two skills for damage, the Serpent's Wrath and the Poison Dagger and at level 75 you can start defeating the Desert Officers. Again, lure 4 or 3 guys, it's enough because you only need to defeat 6. Use your Poison Dagger and your Serpent's Wrath. There you go. Continuous damage. Okay. That is the damage of the Serpent's Wrath. There you go. So you're gonna level up here until you reach level 90. But for me guys, I enjoyed leveling up in this area. So I reached 100. Okay. Again, level 90, you can proceed to the next island. Okay, so now next island. Guys, I don't suggest you traveling using this F skill. Stat check, 180 blocks fruit, 60 on both melee and defense. So buy all the uh, products here, Sky Jump, Enhancement, Flash Step, there you go. And start 
grinding the snow bandits. You can lure five. I suggest you lure five for more experience. There you go. You need to defeat seven to finish a quest. There you go. Again, use your poison dagger and serpent's wrath. The goal here is to reach level 105 so you can start defeating the Yeti. Guys, you're gonna level up here until you reach level 130, okay? 130. Is there an easy way to defeat the Yeti? Yes. Lure him here. There you go. Lure the Yeti here. There. Okay. And jump. That's it, guys. You cannot reach you with this attack. Just spam your Poison Dagger and your Serpent's, Serpent's Wrath. And it's enough, guys. That's enough to defeat him. Just be patient. There you go. So again, guys, you're gonna level up here until you reach level 130. Snowman. If you want, go for it, but I don't suggest it. There you go. At 130, you can now proceed to the next island, the Marine Ford. But here you go, the stats. 243, Blocks Fruit, 75 on melee and defense. So again, I suggest don't use your F skill to travel. Use a boat. Now here we are, Marine Fortress. Sorry, Marine Ford, Marine Fortress. It's almost the same. We're going to start here. With the Vice Admiral. Guys, the only good thing in this island is the Vice Admiral. So we're gonna start here. That's why we only went to this area when we reached level 130. So is it possible for us to defeat this 1v1? Yes, it's kinda easy to be honest. So there you go, just spam your skills and you can defeat the Vice Admiral. So guys, no choice. Stat check. We need to defeat the Chief Petty Officers. You need to defeat 8. There are two here, and the other two is located on the other side of the island. So you will be conserving lots of energy just to, to finish one quest, like four, four sets of two. So it's not good for me, guys. Well, anyway, you need to like be more patient. Every time the Vice Admiral spawns, defeat him. So at what level 150, you can now go to your next island, which is Skylands. But stat check first, 82 melee and defense, 286 on blocks fruit. So we're gonna start here with the Sky Bandits. They're located here in this castle. So you're gonna lure four. One, two, three, and four. By the way, we've already unlocked Noxious Shot. 100 Mastery. Guys, the damage of this is so strong. I think this has the highest damage for all of your skills. But make sure that they stay on your poison. You're gonna level up here until you reach level 175. And after that, you're gonna defeat Dark Masters. Again, eight. They're located here. You need to lure four. Two. 3 and 4, defeat 2 sets, and our goal here is to reach level 225, okay guys, 225, before we go to our next island, again, stat check, guys, it's, it depends on you, if you're gonna follow this, 150 melee defense, and 369 on blocks fruit, okay, so for our next island, the Coliseum, so it's just near the Skylands, there you go, Again, at 225, we're gonna start with the Toga Warriors. So you need to defeat 7, so lure 4 or 3, and that's enough, I think. 3, defeat 3, and defeat the 2 remaining Toga Warriors, and after that, wait for them to spawn to finish one set of quests. The goal here is to reach level 275, start defeating the Gladiators. For me, it's 284. <laughs> there you go, just lure 4. Okay, jump. Use your skills, defeat them. You need to defeat them twice to finish one set. Guys, let's not forget, at 250, you can start defeating the swan. A warden, 225, I think. There you go. At 200, okay? So, can we defeat the war, uh, the swan one-on-one? -on -one? Yes. There you go. You can also defeat the, the warden and the chief warden if you want for extra experience. And after that, go back to the Coliseum. Defeat Gladiators, our goal there is to reach level 300, okay? okay? There you go, level 300, and after that, we can go to our next island, the Magma Village. Guys, this, this part here is kinda annoying, like the petty officers, the military soldiers, so you need to defeat 9. So first, lure 2 here, there you go. After that, on the other side of the bridge, lure 3. You can lure 5 at the same time, but guys, it's kinda annoying to be honest. Some mobs might not follow you, so I decided to follow that pattern. So at level 330, you can start defeating the military spies. 
we've unlocked the Toxic Fog, Mastery 200. So this skill is good for luring. There you go. You don't need to punch them. There you go. And the military spies are easy to defeat. We're just gonna level up here, and when you reach level 350, you can start defeating the Magma Admiral. Always defeat this if you have a chance because this gives away lots of experience. Again, one on one is easy, just dodge sideways, okay? There you go, it's very too easy to dodge. The goal in this island is to reach level 375. But before we leave this island, stat check 264 on melee and defense. 600 on blast food. So again, our next island, the underwater. What's the name? Underwater city. Sorry, I forgot. But we're gonna start here with the fishman warriors. So you need to defeat eight. There are seven. All in all, here just lure four, maybe. Yeah, lure four. Defeat them. Wait for it to spawn. Okay, there you go. I, I suggest you just focus here. Never mind the fish commando and when you reach level 425, you can start defeating the fishman lord. Again, don't worry, it's easy to defeat. Let's go back to the fishman commando. Guys, the fishman commando, they're so far apart and again, the quest giver is so far. You will be needing lots of energy to finish one quest. And again guys, this fruit travels really slow, okay? So again, defeat this and we're gonna train here until we reach level 450 and after that, we're gonna go ahead to the Skylands. Here we are. Guys, this area is so good, guys. My favorite area to level up the God's Guards. Why? You need to defeat seven, right? There are already six mobs here. And guys, you can lure them easily because they jump. They won't get stalked. Again, you can defeat six at a time. Wait for one to spawn and defeat it. That's one quest. We're gonna level up here until we reach level 500, guys. Yes. 500. Why? Because I really love here. 500. Then after that, go to the other side. Go. At 500, you can start here by defeating the Whisper. Again, this is a mini boss. There you go. It's easy to defeat. Use your skills. After using at least two skills, dodge sideways. Because you need to dodge that cannon. There you go. That cannon. There you go. Again, use skills. At least two or three. After that, wait for the cannon, and that's it. Okay, guys, you will only die here if you become impatient. Okay, so always be patient, follow the strategy, and after that, you can start defeating the Shandas. You're gonna level up in the Shandas until you reach level 550, guys. 550, why gamer nom? It's just my strategy, guys. If you want, you can uh, start with the Royal Guards. Oh no, Royal Squad first. Let's go for it. And head to the Royal Guards. But guys, here, I'm gonna level up here in the Shandas at 550. And then, I'm gonna level up with the Royal Squad after that. Until 625. Why Gamer Nom? I hate those Royal Guards. But if you like, you can train there, okay? And let's not forget, when you reach level 575, you can start defeating Enel. Yes, the boss in this island. Let's go for it. Defeat Thunder God. There you go, Thunder God. Again, it's easy to defeat, just dodge sideways. No problem with the damage because Venom really inflicts lots of damage. Just stay alive, okay? So again, the goal here in this Skyland Upper Yard is to reach level 625. And after that, we will proceed to our final island. But before that, let's defeat this first. Again, 625. Okay. Okay, so after this, we will proceed to our final island, Water 7. There you go. In anime, this is called Water 7, but here, Fountain City. We're gonna start here with the Galley Pirates until level 700. Okay, Galley Pirates. Why Gamer Nom? The Galley Captains are so far apart and I don't like that. So you're gonna lure 4. There you go. Defeat 4. After that, wait for them to spawn. And defeat 4 again for 1 quest, 1 level up. Okay. When you reach level 650, you can start defeating Cyborg. Oh, is it 650? No, it's 675. Sorry, again, 675. Okay. Defeating him is easy. There you go. And by this time, you can use our final skill, the Transformation. So what does it do? It really increases the damage, guys. The damage and the defense. I think it also increases the defense. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
the X skill noxious shot and one hit even other players. I'm telling you guys, I really love the toxic fog on what happens, but I cannot see my enemy here. <laughs> there you go. Poison daggers, almost the same, but the serpent's wrath will add small heads, small, uh, what do you call it, serpent heads that will attack the enemy. Okay? Homing, homing attacks. Okay, so if you wanna see a video of this, I have a video. I will put the link on the upper right side of the screen. The full showcase when the fruit came out. There you go. You guys, we're gonna go back to the Galley Pirates to level up. And to finish it off, we're gonna defeat Cyborg again once more to reach level 700. So the video is kind of long, but I think it's worth it. So there you go. Congratulations. Now head to the prison. Talk to the detective, military detective, and here it is. He will give you a key. There you go. You need to go to the frozen village, to the cave where you bought the sky jump, etc. Use the key and you need to defeat the ice admiral. Kinda easy given that we have the venom fruit. And after that, go back to the military detective. And then he will give you permission to go to the second sea. But how? Go to the middle town. There you go. And talk to this pirate. There you go. The experienced pirate. There you go. And he will send you to the second sea. So guys, that's it for this video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this. Comment on the comment section on what should we do next. Again, welcome to the second sea, Venom Fruit Noob User. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. And Gamer Nom out.